Hey, Plus was yesterday, and this was one one of the Game 7s yesterday. There was two on the Phoenix Suns in this one. Honestly, this was a great overall game for Celtics fans. Final score was 109 Celtics to 81 Bucks. Overall, the Bucks really struggled with shooting from the three-point line. I feel like that was the main difference. The Bucks really couldn't match them. The Celtics honestly had an amazing 27 three-pointers made. Robert Williams had 27 points and 9 three-pointers made. Honestly, a great game from him. He probably was the player of the game last night. Honestly, overall, Giannis, he had an okay game last night, but... Overall, people are arguing, is KD better than Giannis or who's better overall? In my opinion, I think Giannis is still the best player in the world, no matter what happened yesterday. I feel like overall, he just played the best. Throughout the whole series, he was playing great. And Kevin Durant did get swept by the same team. And Giannis took them a seven games without Chris Middleton. Do you think this would be an overall different series without with Chris Middleton being there? I could definitely see that happening. I feel like overall, scoring-wise, it could help. And I feel like he's probably one of the best three-point shooters on the team overall. Uh, I feel like that was the main struggle of the Bucks. I feel like that's what they need to focus on next year. I feel like some people, I think they can definitely still be one of the best teams next year. I think they need to focus on three-point shooting. I feel like that will be the way they can beat other teams. But overall, the Heat versus the Celtics, they made a great overall series to watch. And the Celtics won the series last night, 4-3. to three. Overall, I can't wait for Tuesday to see the game. CBS Sports, Grant Williams has never had double digits in the playoffs. Game before this year. He has four double digits games this postseason honestly insane 17 points versus the brooklyn nets april 20th 2022 14 points april 25th 2022 against the brooklyn nets again 21 points against milwaukee may 20 may 3rd 2022 and 27 points yesterday may 15 2022 versus milwaukee books that's probably his best performance of this year this Bleacher Report, despite the loss, Giannis posted a historical ha sat line in this series. Giannis Antetokounmpo, first player with 200 points, 100 rebounds, and 50 assists in this series. Honestly, a lot of people in the comments saying, oh, this is an ESPN stat line. Since he was the first person in history to have the stat lines, I don't really think this is an e ESPN stat line. It's not like, oh, on this day, he it was raining outside and he had 50 points. It was honestly a really good stat, and I'm very impressed by Giannis to ha be the first player to have this. What do you think overall, though? This is ESPN, and this is a graphic they posted. It's the Heat versus the Celtics, and overall, who I think is going to win the series. I think the Heat's going to win in seven games. I think it's going to be an overall great series to watch. I think Jimmy Butler's going to show a lot in this series. I think overall, the three-point shooting is going to be the difference. The Milwaukee Bucks really couldn't keep up with the three-point shooting last game against the Celtics, but the Heat are one of the best three-point shooting teams in the NBA. I feel like overall, the role players for the Heat are just going to be too much overall for the Celtics. I feel like Anyone on the Heat can really score. I don't know if the same is true for the Celtics, but overall, what do you think?